Hey y'all, it's Krista. Um, so you probably just watched my last two videos on how to thin down mix. Um, so I had some beautiful colors because um, I was trying to do some fall colors and I'm gonna use my leftover paints and I'm going to add some other colors to it too. Um, but I gotta show you my last pour. That sandwich pour that I use with the Paraj Posse paints is just gorgeous. I don't know if you can see the shimmer, but it is definitely beautiful. Um, this little area in here with the transparency, super pretty, and that copper penny, it, it dried beautifully. I actually talked to Christina Welch today and she said, it's so pretty, you should resin it. So I just may do that, um, but very pleased with its outcome. So um, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the colors that I used in my last pours and um, I added some, uh, 24k and some coral reef metallic that I had left over and some white flash so Get my husband to get us down to the canvas and let's pour this out Are we good? Okay. Okay, so um, the Paraj Posse's that I'm using are the Coral Reef Metallic, and that's left over from another pour that I did. And the last ones that I did was, I used a Chestnut Bronze, and it's, it's drying beautifully, absolutely gorgeous. And then I have Copper Penny, I had some leftover of that. And so I'm gonna use that again. And of course I'm using this gorgeous white flash because I had just a little bit left over. I added a little bit more to the cup. And you know, one of my faves, 24K, I'm using that. In my last pour I used the red flash. So I'm using what's left in my cup of that. And I'm adding some Van Dyke Brown because I added it in my Dutch pour. Um, Amsterdam, love it. I'm using the Flow Acrylic White in my normal Voss water bottle. Um, so okay, we're ready to go. And let's get this cup layered. I'm going to use a 16 ounce cup for my 20 by 20 canvas. And um, then I'll have my flow extender. So let's start layering. I think I'm going to start with, I think I'm going to start with the red flash. And put in the, oh, coral metallic reef. I only have a little bit of this left, so I'm just going to do that. And I'm going to put some of that chestnut, chest, nope, this is Copper Penny. Copper Penny on top of that. I'm trying to stick with fall colors. And you know what, let's use some of that 24K. Now my 24K is thicker than the other colors so that it won't do that weird shimmer shine across the rest of the canvas. And I'll put some of that white flash on top of that. And then use the chestnut bronze. It's a beautiful color. And some of this Van Dyke brown. Well, that's definitely too thin. We'll see how that goes. And 
Who do I want to put next to that? I guess I'll do 24K again. And kind of go in reverse, I'll put in the Copper Penny. And the Coral Metallic, I think I'm just gonna use it up this time. Leftover paint. It's awesome to be able to use it. Set that over there because it's empty. And then I think I'll put some white flash. This white flash, I've used it a few times in the last few paintings and it just makes my heart sing. All right, this is the chestnut. And I think I'll put the Van Dyke Brown on top of that. and do a 24K. Save a little bit of that for the end. Put some Copper Penny on top of that. Some of the Red Flash. And I think I'll put some Van Dyke Brown on top of that Red Flash. And um, I was going to use a white flash, but I think I'm going to use this copper penny. No, nope, this is chestnut. Sorry. The chestnut and the copper are really close in color. You know what? No, I think that was copper penny. I'm losing my mind. I think this is the chestnut. I don't know. One or the other. They're both beautiful. And I use the rest of that. And I'm gonna put some white flash. And that cup is now pretty much empty. And then put some 24K on top of that. This cup is so full, oh my goodness. I'm gonna be nervous taking it off the canvas. Okay, so I'm gonna set all these aside. Set this one up here. Holy heavy cup, okay. And then I'm gonna put down my Polo extender for my base. set that aside and of course all of my paints are mixed with mix um, I pretty much don't use anything else and I totally have something in my paint and I can see it I can see it I can see it like I'm gonna have to dig it out my Michaels paint is coming to me kind of chunky that's a kind of a big chunker and I don't know whether it's something they've had sitting on their shelf and said, hey, she ordered 10, we'll ship it to her. Or what's going on, but I can pick it out, so it's not that big of a deal. It's not the end all. It's not gonna ruin me forever. All right, I'm gonna torch this because there's a ton of bubbles in it. Okay, so this is my layered cup. It's absolutely gorgeous with that Van Dyke Brown separating those metallic colors. All right, let's turn this around. And let's pour it. All right, let's go. I'm gonna raise it up high, see what kind of action I get. Bring it back in. I'm going to twist. And there we go. 
got some cool stuff going on. I'm going to pull it back to slow down the flow so I can catch it. Oh, there we go. Okay. There's a little bit left in my cup, but wow, I'm already getting cells. I'm liking that. All right, I'm going to put a flow extender around it. And I had a big chunker come out again. I'm definitely going to have to catch that out of there. You're probably staring at it like it's a sore thumb. Glob City right there. I think it's big enough I can catch it with this again. Look at the size of that. What is that? And when I smush it around, it's totally just white paint. Oh. And I shook up that bottle too. Okay, so let me grab my Ablet Turner. I'm gonna spread this out. Get it right up against the edge, wherever it's not. And just scoot it. Scoot, scoot. So I've got some really nice stuff on the sides here that I don't want rolling over itself. So it's better just to scoot it. So it's got something to roll on to. Okay. Scrape my turner off there. Do it here too. Okay. So, wow, if I was going for fall colors, I got them. All right, let's torch it. Get our 100,000 bubbles out. Which also helps create cells when you pop bubbles. But I don't think I'm going to be disappointed. I think most of my bubbles are on my side where I tried to spread it out with the omelet turner. Oh, they just keep coming up, coming up, coming up. Okay. All right. Here's decision time. Do I wreck it or don't I wreck it? Let's see what the paint is telling us to do. Because I really like that center with that red flash. Let's swirl it around and see. See what it wants to do. I'm a firm believer that the paint have a, has a mind of its own. I've got some nice stuff stretching out here. Um, I think I'm not going to wreck it. I think I'm going to take it down to this corner. Walk it. All right. Turn it around. And I'm going to bring it back, and then I'm going to bring it down to that corner. I'm going to walk it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. Then we're going to bring it back. And we're going to spin it around. Oh, there's totally something right there. All right, I need to get it before I stretch out any further. Definite goob. 
Let's see if I see anything else before I continue to stretch. All right, I think I'm gonna take it down to this corner next. Stretch these bands out up here. Oh, the last paintings that I did, they moved so fast. Now I have to remember to have patience. <laughs> have patience, it will flow. This is gonna be shimmer-tastic when it's dry because I used all metallics or flashes for this, except for my base. <clears throat> Sorry, my base. And, all right, I'm in that corner. I'm um, gonna bring it back. Okay, so, Fall of Bonanza, definitely, it's got those bronzy red, I've got this tree across the street from my house on the corner, and it is just gorgeous with these beautiful red colors that are in the middle, and it kind of inspired me to add some reds because I just can't get enough of looking at this tree. If I'm sitting in my garage or out front, that's all I can see is this tree. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Fall is definitely my favorite of the seasons. Not looking forward to the amount of snow we're about to get here in the Cleveland area. Um, we have a freeze warning tonight. Be the first time so far. And definitely not looking forward to that. Especially since I'm working in the garage to make y'all mix. Um, my garage is heated, so no worries. No worries on the mix site because my garage is heated. All right, so I'm gonna scrape my sides so I can get my corners. I'm just gonna feed the sides here. And come down this way and get this edge. I'm hoping I'm in camera here. I'm relying on my husband to make sure that I'm doing what I need to do. That I am where I'm supposed to be as far as pouring a canvas. I have my prior paintings that I did on my table over here, so I'm trying not to drip on them. It's a rare day when my table is empty. Rare day. So as I'm trying to get mix out to y'all and I'm waiting for something to set before I do the next step in mix. I try to come in here and create paintings. So I am a constant busy girl. Okay, so this one is a lot of metallics, but that red, whoa, it is so awesome. All right, I'm gonna bring you down so you can see what I'm looking at.
noticed up there that it was looking very muddy but look at what I'm looking at when this dries are you kidding me oh look look right there how it just goes into that red that's the red that I'm talking about with that tree across the street absolutely gorgeous my friend Tiffany Bergeron told me you've got to use this red flash and you know what she's right I did because it's gorgeous look at the lines look at these little pebbles little stripy cells Look at the transparency right there. Whoa. Beautiful painting. All right, y'all. Well, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.